Hello there, welcome to this AutoCAD for Beginners series. In this video, we are going to explore the AutoCAD user interface. So let's open AutoCAD, double click on this. So the AutoCAD now will be loading to open and it will prompt this uh, interface. First, you have the option to create the drawing. So click on this. Also, it will show the, the recent uh, project that you open and the notification, let's say for updates, your at link your link account also you can open the previous project once you create more project you can see some projects here also in the recent documents so for this we are going to create first the start drawing click on this and now we are going to explore the interface of AutoCAD first as you can see in the left, left top of this uh, of this uh, interface, you can see the letter A, which symbolizes the AutoCAD icon. This is called the application button. Once you click on this, you can see the option which you can create new project, open recent project, save and save as, and other option like export, import, and, and print. So yeah, that's the application button. Secondly, is this uh, is the quick access toolbar. This is the recent uh, actions or buttons that you, you've done. So it will pop up here. You can click this also. This is the or the recent action that you've done. And this is the info bar. Let's say if you are looking for a command, uh, you want to know about the command. Let's say for this, we are going to search for line, a command line. And once we search on that, it will pop up this uh, dialog box and it will, it will show about the... It, it will uh, give an information of the search, which is the line, the line command, and how to execute the line, and you can read the description here. That's the info bar in AutoCAD. Also, the la the large uh, the l all the commands are are grouped in this ribbon. It's called the ribbon, which is a uh, group in different uh, functionalities. Let's say for this draw, it it is grouped in the draw. The command line, it is a collection of command, but for this it is group in the draw, modify, annotation, layers, where you can uh, create layers, blocks, or block, other property, groups, and other here. So this is called the ribbon. Also, if you have multi-drawings, you will uh, see these uh, tabs here. Let's say for this, I will open another drawing. Say I'm going to open this project I've done before. So this is called the, the file tabs. Sometimes when you see there's a lock button on the file tab or the tab on the project you have, that means that's, that project is only read only. You cannot uh, edit that project, only you can view that project. So that's uh, the, the lock button. If you see there's a lock on the file tab here but for this we have a read and write option so we can edit this project so that's the file tab let's go to this uh, so you can open uh, multi projects at the same time so let's go to the drawing one next is this command prompt here we here you can add your command or enter your command you can enter your command let's say for this I will enter the line command the shortcut of the line is letter L the alias of that command also if you hover on the on these tools or the commands it will give you a short uh, overview of the command or a description of, and also description also you can add the command here let's say l you can type l there to enter the command and it will give you a, a instruction on how to create that or or process that command or on how to use that command Let's say line specific first point. We are going to specific the first point, first point, and you can enter that way. So that's the command prompt or command prompt palette. Other other interface or other tools here is the UCS, which shows the the axis of the drawing. For this, we are executing a a two D design, so it will only show the the y and x coordinates but we are if we are in 3d mode it will show the the z also the access z so i'm holding the shift and scroll bar to navigate into 3d mode 
You can also press Ctrl Z to return it back or shift scroll and move. It will uh, give you an option of orbit mo mode. So if you want to return back, press Ctrl Z. Next is this status bar. It will status bars shows the status of your drawing. Let's say if you are using an ortho or restrict restricted the ortho mode and the scaling here. Also, you can change the the type of the of the interface. Let's say we as of this, we are using the drafting and annotation, but we can go to the 3D basics. And it will change the interface but since we are only starting for the basic of AutoCAD later we cover the 3d we will only use for this the drafting and annotation so that's the basic overview of the interface of AutoCAD I hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe